So what's the deal with your friend here? Yes, we were just talking about this Kenny. What do you make of him, Clem? They seem very accommodating for a bunch of people in a big house. I trust him. With your life? I think so. Walter was telling me his family died. That's horrible. Thing like that can hit a guy pretty hard. He lost his whole family? Wife and kid. Damn. He lost it a little after that. Lost it half? No, well, he drinks. Oh. Well. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winters so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. Kenny, stop. But- Luke is my friend. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's duck? Kenny. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck. Have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Maybe. Maybe not. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. <sighs> I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? 
Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I... I don't know. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Clementine. Don't freak out. Listen. Okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. Where's Nick? I don't know. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it, and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing. Man, I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? Luke? Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You don't know he'll do anything. Well, are you kidding me? Nick, you shot his friend. I gotta do this. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? It's gone. Whoa. 
Walter? I always liked this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now? It was us. It was our fault. Jesus. I, um... Uh, I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Is... Uh, is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? Is he just one of those, uh, those fuckers that don't give a shit about anyone but themselves? He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? happened on the bridge. Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, 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 thought, I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I I shot Matthew. But it, 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 it happened real fast. I didn't, I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. Do you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. the guns. Guns? That thing's a damn dinner bell. What the hell was that? Damn it. Transformer must have gone. Gotta check it. I could use a hand. I'll go with you. I'm going to. No! It's too dangerous. It's the rest of you, get this thing shut down! Does anyone know how to do this? Great. I can do it. Okay. We'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Much ammunition. We got to get back to the lodge. They're behind us. Oh, 
Howdy, folks. Where's Rebecca? Carver. It's nice to see you, too. Oh! Dad! Sarah! Inside. It's you. Keep moving. Look at this place. Fucking place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Johnny, cover that window.
Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh! Oh! Rebecca! Oh! Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh! And Alvin, and Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. My dad, please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Beck, the baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? How the hell am I supposed to know? He won't kill a doctor. He'll do anything. Oh! Yes! Clint can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. You don't know that. I'll find Luke and Kenny. Stay here. God damn it. <laughs> oh, you never did listen. Hurry! Let's see if I can get your attention. for our man. Now, I didn't want to do this, but you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. Or you can give up now. Your choice. Motherfucker. Kenny, over there. Shoot him! 
Rebecca, don't look. Just don't look, Rebecca. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can keep this up all night. Sarita. We're coming out. Let's go. Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. <laughs> All right, round them up. We're heading back to camp. Son of a bitch would have shot Walt no matter what we did. Well, I ain't going out like that. Not without a fight. Yeah, I know. The folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. That don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them. Knowing full well, those who choose not to accept our love will surely wish that they had. A storm is on the way. Little girl, little girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep last night? In the pines, in the pines, where the sun never shines. We'll shiver the whole.